Okay guys, so it's been a little longer than I thought it would be, but I'm back again finally and today we're going to do some of the detail work for the Hylian Shield. Hopefully next time it won't take me that long. I kind of got caught up playing Eternal Darkness and then Titanfall and doing some other 3D projects. So anyway, we're going to start off with a cube this guy over here, uh, scale him down, scale him down, move it over, okay, then make it editable of course by pressing C, um, and then we'll just move around some of these points. Make sure, um, you know, if you haven't been following around or following along, make sure that whenever you select these points in this viewport, that only select visible elements is not checked. It's important. Or else you only select one of the, you know, for demonstration purposes, you only select one, uh, the one that's in front on this viewport. And uh, you need to select both of them. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is, you know, going to be a an episode that, uh, or a, a video that's, in my opinion, not all that exciting. Uh, but maybe that's just because. I've already done this. So, okay, I'll extrude this again, bring it down. All right, now we'll make some cuts. Uh, to make, to get the knife tool out, press MK on the keyboard. Um, and we'll just make some cuts where cuts are due. So, for instance, uh, we'll go to point mode first. Cut through here, cut through there, and there, and probably another one at least. And then we'll hit 9 or spacebar to go back to the move tool for these points. I need one more over here too. Okay. Alright. And I am basically just going to rearrange these points uh, until they fit the shape here. Now there's one cut in here that gets kind of tricky that's down near the bottom. Actually, the first Hylian shield I made, if you listened to me in the last video, was a combination of a couple different... Um, I think like three or four different Hylian shield models or uh, designs I guess throughout the generations of Zelda and uh, I did not do this design in my original one and this design is a little bit different and I was uh, rushing this and uh, I screwed up the geometry really badly by accident and uh, then just shut this off out of pure frustration at myself so oh okay now I do it I do this all day um, most days so or at least a, a large portion of the day I should say so whenever I screw something up as simple as basic geometry. I get kind of irritated with myself. Alright. Then we'll extrude this pretty far because it's basically just one big straight line. And 
points around. And uh, we'll get to this kind of bump or curvature or whatever you want to call it in a minute. Some more cuts. That way you can get this curve going. And uh, I think eventually I'm going to have to stop using fraps to capture things because it is not doing its job good enough for this. At least not for me. Good for gameplay, apparently not. Apparently not recording this stuff though. Okay, so this is where I messed up last time, um, and I think that's uh, and that's because whenever I extruded this, I I pushed this part down and then just wrecked the rest of the geometry. So basically, you need you need this to turn into oh oh there we go. You need this to uh, kind of separate a little. You need a, a cube coming down here for that, and then you need a cube, or I guess I should say an extrusion coming up uh, this way. You really, you shouldn't extrude this and push it down here and then just extrude up. It will just, trust me, completely wreck your geometry and you'll be mad at yourself just like I was a couple days ago. So, actually, that was like a whole week ago at this point. Sorry guys. Then again in that week, I think only 30 people have watched this, so to those 30 who watch my videos, thanks. And, uh, I promise I will get better. You know, the more people there are, the more accountable I have to become, so if you tell a few friends about this, you know, maybe I'll make even more videos. I think the next one I'm going to do is, uh, well, I don't know, it's either going to be Pokemon or Dragon Ball related. Maybe, maybe I'll just do a combination. I'm not sure if it'd make any sense. But I really want to do both of them. I have been working on a uh, intro for Community. Uh, if you've ever seen the TV show, uh, I'm not saying that I'm like doing an intro for uh, for them. I've been trying to uh, recreate the original one, which uh, has, it was interesting, and uh, I'll probably post a tutorial on at least how I achieved getting the uh, Origami Fortune Teller made, because that was just about the hardest thing in the world to, I guess, envision for me, and I've asked, you know, I asked a whole bunch of people 
online for advice and no one no one was able to give it to me that I asked at least um, but I finally developed a way to make an origami fortune teller like the one in um, community so probably sooner rather than later I'll make a tutorial on that it's gonna be way shorter than these that's for sure okay so I think I think this is looking pretty good right now uh, the finer detail is obviously not here yet but uh, we're about to make that happen so uh, press MK to go to your knife tool uh, just so you kind of understand why I'm going to be making these cuts if you take a subdivision surface and put this in here it looks okay it, it's really not bad if you wanted to leave it this way you probably could and you could get away with it but you don't have uh, these really refined edges here like this jagged edge or uh, you know this point is kind of pointy maybe it is pointy enough I don't know um, uh, but the number one thing you don't have is this kind of groove down the middle here so that's what we're gonna be uh, basically creating here when I make these cuts so anyway MK back to the knife tool uh, make sure you have your object selected over here the objects manager and then get loop and uh, this I don't know if this will cut all the way through I don't think it will I'm pretty sure it will stop there right now see this is where I screwed up last time because I made this uh, not two separate shapes so that this had as its own unique loop edge area because I didn't this went all the way through it got some really strange geometry down here and then uh, it was it was quite the mess but um, anyway you don't have to deal with that because I'm hopefully if I can get this edge not showing you that terrible version okay so we've got that little middle edge line and um, well first let's just reorganize these points so that they're actually on the edge if you have some like me that are off maybe uh, maybe you made your geometry even better than mine yeah they're going to be claiming that I'm the best at this by a long shot, obviously. Okay, so let's get this line and grab this line. And I meant to be in edge mode. So let's go back to that, grab that line, grab that line. And um, we'll just press T actually there we go so I'll extrude that out or push that out a little bit Okie dokie. So that's looking okay. Got some weird stuff right here where the two kind of intersect. Okay. But hopefully we can fix that. We'll see. Let's see if it doesn't really show up. Okay, good. Um, all right, so now we'll make uh, a couple more cuts, and uh, there'll be loop cuts again. If I can get a loop. Maybe. Maybe. 
this one. Let's do it. At least. Hmm. I think that geometry screwed me up. edges in here before I extrude again. It's going to be that difficult. Hmm. All right, let's put the edges in here. Okay, so I'm sorry if you just did all that, just control Z all the way back put these edges in here. I'm going to take my coat off uh, while you undo my mistakes and um, now actually we need to make sure we do these down here So we have some kind of some kind of rogue point that just uh, he just decided to show up, but nobody wants him. So we'll melt him, oh, or we won't melt him. Hmm. Where did that guy come from? Okay, it's gone. Alright, so back to uh, plan A. Okay, so I don't know why that didn't do that the first time. Well, I got some, some weird... Uh, feedback there but whatever um, let's loop select these I don't think I actually said it. I was loop selecting you press UL to do a loop selection and we'll push uh, maybe we'll go in and do points actually I'm gonna push these points a little closer to the edge here because the uh, the whole reason that this loop exists or the whole reason that it is uh, being created is to give this edge refinement. Let's do all three of these at the same time. I don't know, this might take all dang day. to start editing these videos if I keep doing some 4D ones. <clears throat> That should be okay. I hope. Now press UL and go to your edge mode again uh, and select that loop, the one in the middle of those three lines you just made, and select that loop, the one in the middle of those three lines. And we'll go back 
and we'll scale these up. kind of there now. There's there's an edge. I might need to scale it up in a little bit once I refine everything else, but for right now it's looking okay. So all right. So let's uh, refine the rest of this chunk. So we'll take the uh, knife tool again by pressing MK on the keyboard. not make a loop cut, make a line cut, and cut across here, and cut across here, and uh, it's very possible that I will forget a cut and have to go back, or just more than likely overlook a cut and have to go back, but basically all we're trying to do here is refine these these hard lines I guess and maybe if it'll let me okay good it still will this time we'll make some loop cuts Good. Come on. There we go. Seven clicks later. <clears throat> okay. And we'll make a cut here, and we'll make a cut there, and uh, we'll call that. It's kind of got a little more of a ridge and right here we're getting a ridge that we don't want or need so I'll go back and fix that. We can fix that together and um, we want, might just, uh, we might want to take these lines, uh, let's do Line selection mode, go UL, grab this line, grab that line, actually let's just do one line at a time. Do this line, where are you, and bring this out a little, maybe this is not the best way to do this. Actually. It'd probably just be better if I grab this line and just move it back in a little bit. It's out a little too far right now. Okay, and uh, this line doesn't need to exist right here, these two. So we'll just hit 9, select that line, select that line, right click and melt them. And now they don't exist, which is cool, at least to me. So now we just need to take care of this little guy. It needs to be bumped up a little, and the geometry needs to be fixed up a bit. And I think these kind of need to come to a point. So go in here, point mode, grab all these guys, actually it's a much better idea to grab them from here, and then just come scale them down, let's just scale them on the Z for now, maybe a little this way. Okay. 
Okay. Same thing for this guy. Press 9 on the keyboard to get your selection tool. T for scale, and then just scale them down. these points here and move them maybe push them up a little to give that that bump the definition that it requires ah there we go that might help with that weird Geometry issue. Oh, and then we need to get this point down here and scale it down too. So, okay. And um, now, if we look at it, it's you know. It's not perfect, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, I really need to take those edge points. And I, I don't think I'm going to do this just because it's going to take too much time. And there's other things we have to get through. But um, I, I would suggest taking these edge points or, you know, if you're watching this video before making it, just make these edge points just a little bit farther down. Um, or maybe maybe making two loops here in the center. I don't know, but it needs to be a little bit more flat uh, than it is. But uh, I'm not gonna go rework it. You get the idea. You get the core concepts. I think. Um, sorry that I screwed that up a bit, but it's primarily correct. Okay, so we got a little bit more time here. Um, what did I do next? Oh, if you want this to go, you know, in the exact same place on the other side, just get your symmetry object, drop uh, that in your symmetry, and uh, there you go. Symmetrical, symmetrical, same on both sides, uh, except for one thing that I will go in and fix. So line mode, don't need this one. And if you don't know to 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 select multiple things, I guess you just shift select. Ooh. That was bad. Uh, make sure this is on select visible elements only. Shift, 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 flip it, shift, 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 and melt it. Too bad. Maybe should have pushed these down before I melted them. Of course, I shouldn't have scaled them up to begin with, but anyway, there will probably be errors, small ones in here. I'm not a master Cinema 4D artist. I'm just um, okay at it. Pretty good enough to get done what I want after you know 15 revisions. Um. And um, I'll probably cut this off here. Uh, maybe I'll do the Triforce. 
trying to remember how I did the Triforce last time. I, I want to say I just made a cube. That sounds silly. Um, I probably did just make a cube. Although I could just make a triangle. So, um, I could just make a triangle, or a polygon, turn it into a triangle, and pop this dude up here, rotate him 90 degrees. If you hold shift, it'll do 10 degree uh, rotation segments, whatever you want to call it. Um, Make that editable with C. Grab this dude's points. Come on. And, um, let's see. I don't know which way I want to do this. I think, actually, it's going to be easier if I just use an extrude nerve. Uh, and that's just because I want this to... Or I'm just an idiot right now. Can't put a polygon in an extrude, extrude nerve. Ah, that's my problem. Okay, I need the object. Let's say, what am I doing? Wow. Fraps is just killing me right now. Okay. There we go. Jeez. Okay, so uh, all I needed to do here was take a polygon, move the points so that they're generally speaking fairly aligned with the uh, with the Triforce here. Boom. And then, uh, if you hold, <coughs> if you select a face, then you hold control, that's going to give you an extrusion. So, there we go. There's uh, the Triforce, and if you want those round edges, you can get them. just by using your knife tool, keeping it line. Go from there to there, there to there, and to there. And uh, there's a little bit more rounded of an edge so and then as far as what you do for you know the other ones um, once you have your polygon here the way you want it Uh, I'm doing this to give the points here at the end more definition. Okay. I needed to extrude both sides. <clears throat> Or 
just I guess I can just close polygon hole here. Just right click, go to close polygon hole, close it up. This might kill me. Okay, it's alright. Okay, so that looks okay. Oops. <clears throat> Trying to use a Mac on a PC. Okay, so it looks alright there. Uh, it would have been better if I had paid attention, closed the polygon hole, then made the lines. <clears throat> and again, I apologize for any of the mistakes I make. I know I'm not perfect, and I promise not all these tutorials will have mistakes made, but uh, this one is just littered with imperfections. So, so as far as the rest of these guys go, drop them down and for this one you could probably just use a symmetry yep. close enough maybe not not for me at least okay and uh, you know then you just put your triangle down here and I think I'm gonna cut this off because I've been going way too long as it is I think I've hit like around 40 minutes. Uh, in the next episode uh, of this, we'll do the bird. We'll do the, the screws here. Um, and I'll make the shield. And it should take nowhere near as long as this. The bird is just a triangle. Um, this is a pretty easy geometry shape. Just some squares here. And this is going to be the one that takes the longest amount of time. But it's nowhere near as long as these ridged things okay so that's the end of this episode if you uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to you could also just make this out of a square and then you get a little bit fuller geometry or you could just extrude it on both sides of the triforce here instead of one like I did um, or and make sure you close that polygon hole uh, but anyway other than that, I think uh, for now this is looking pretty good once it gets textured. Oh, always trying to use a Mac. Once it gets textured and uh, lit, it will look even better. But uh, that's a couple episodes from now. I hope to have this series done by uh, this weekend. I'm really hoping, so stay tuned. I'll make some more.